Bonjour, mademoiselle. Bonjour, Pierre. Comment ça va Je suis très bien, merci. Bon. Et vous, Pierre, comment ça va Je vais très bien aussi. Bon. Que diriez-vous d'une promenade avec moi ce soir Je voudrais promener avec vous un soir. À quelle heure Sept heures et demie Uh, on, I forgot what that means. <laughs> Wait a minute, Pierre. You're going too uh, fast. Oh, I think we'd better stop. No. And start again. <laughs> Lesson three, an invitation to dinner. Bonjour, mademoiselle. Bonjour, Pierre. Comment ça? Je suis très bien, Pierre. Très bien aussi. Oh. Que diriez-vous d'une promenade avec moi ce soir Je voudrais promener avec vous ce soir. À quelle heure C'est You got dizzy creeping up on people like that. It's sly. So is listening at other people's keyholes. Now, what are you always complaining of here, eh? She's got the feather in there. Get away. Yes. Who is it? Sean Connery or Scobie Breezley? No, it's true. <laughs> Come and listen. Um, I'm Francais. Um, you've already been to Saint-Germain. Um, maybe. It's a nice city. A nice city. You're very beautiful. Ah, flatterer. I think we've gone far enough for today, Pierre. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe it. Well, you heard him as clear as I did. A Frenchman, I know. Yeah, hey, they're very passionate, the French, you know. Something to do with all that garlic. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I wonder why she was nipping upstairs like a flesh and crafty old dragon. Did I hear my name mentioned boots off the table, please? Oh, no, we just wonder where you work. I've been having run on for a bit. <laughs> Uh, don't you want to sit down? A cup of tea, Gabriel? Oh, you're much too attentive, the pair of you. What have you been up to? We haven't been up to anything. Well, I certainly haven't. Oh, of course you haven't. Every little breeze seems to tweet a little. George? Yeah? Why are you seeing that? I don't know. It's coming to me yet. <laughs> Birds seem to fly like a baron <laughs> <laughs> and You are. Thank you. Mademoiselle. Yeah. All right, all right. Which one of you was it? Was it you, George? Well. Did you have your crinkly little ear pressed up against my bedroom door? Not me, him. Hey, you did as well. Well, we happened to be passing and we heard. I'm sure you did. You don't want to worry about it. Good luck to you. Thank you, George. As a matter of fact, I wanted to keep it a secret for a bit until I felt I was ready. Is it serious? <laughs> oh, yes, very. Now I've started, I mean, to go right through to the end. I'm going to have another session this evening. <laughs> I find it very stimulating. You know, I haven't done it since I was at school. Mm -hmm. It's just like swimming. Once you've got the knack of it, it never leaves you. Oh, well, isn't it? It's always the quiet ones. Yeah. Yeah, like, what, what's his name? Pierre? Oh, it's not only Pierre. Uh, there's a waiter, a concierge, two gendarmes. <laughs> Are you drinking that or gargling? Yes. Well, what, what's that about gendarmes? They're all on the record. What record? My French course. Bonjour, Pierre. Course for beginners. <laughs> course. Oh. At the end of the course, you can speak French like a native. Oh, yes, yes. Yes. <laughs> What's the matter with the pair? Nothing, nothing. Learning to speak French. Oui. Ah. Uh, where's the time if you ask me? Nobody's asking you. Oh. Yeah, build up. Or as the French would say, ferme la fenêtre. <laughs> I didn't know you spoke another language. Oh, you ought to hear it when you can't get the car started. <laughs> Well, I was over there a couple of weeks during the war. It's amazing what you can pick up in 14 days. Yeah, especially if you had some soap or cigarettes, were you? <laughs> you weren't mad about soap, you know. I knew a little bit. Shall oh, we leave the war memoirs to Montgomery? Yes, why don't you keep out of it? I didn't know you spoke French, George. Oh, I can make myself understood. Oh, can you really? Yes, yes. Shall we have a little conversation all français? Yes, all right. Oh, oh this will be good. <laughs> Ready, George? Yep. Uh, bonjour, George. Bonjour, Gabriel. It's a quick conversation. I'm thinking. Uh, comment ça va, George? 
<laughs> Would you mind repeating the question? Como ça va, George? Bonjour, Gabriel. <laughs> I'm asking you how you are. Oh, I'm fine. Thank you. No, no, you should say, je suis très bien, merci. Oh, of course. Yes, je suis très bien, merci. Uh, <laughs> now you ask me a question. <laughs> Avez-vous une sister? <laughs> what sort of question's that? Oh, it come in very handy over there. Don't you know any other questions? I never needed any other questions. <laughs> Thought you said you knew French. Well, I'm a bit rusty, but I can, mate. I can. I'm rusty. Just rusty, that's all. Oh, you're corroded. <laughs> <laughs> oh, blimey, it's been a long time. No, oh, I'm afraid you're not going to be a use to me. I was hoping to be fluent by Friday. Why? What's special about Friday? I'm just popping over to Paris for the weekend. Paris? We. Oui. Paris, France? Is there any offer? That's going to cost you a bob or two, isn't it? It's not going to cost me anything. I've had a letter this morning from the Woman's Gazette. I have won first prize in their fuller figure competition. <laughs> and you deserve it. <laughs> You've got the fullest figure I ever saw. <laughs> I'm going to take that as a compliment, Joel. <laughs> what do you have to do? A sort of competition? I put seven dresses in order of merit. You got a free trip to Paris for that? Yes. Mother always said that I had a flair for fashion. Given the opportunity, I could have been another quant. <laughs> there it is, in black and white. How lucky can you get? Not lucky. The sun shines on the righteous. Lord. <laughs> <laughs> Dear Miss Dragon. What a waste of a weekend in Paris. We have pleasure in informing you. It's like sending a missionary to the Vatican. <laughs> You've won our star prize of a weekend in Paris for two. Well, what's she gonna do there? Walking around the boulevard. What? What did you say? You've won our star prize of a weekend in Paris. For two, you said. What? For two! For two! Hey, George, she won't take you with her. You want a bet? <laughs> nah. <laughs> <laughs> Paris, you say? Yes, Colonel, and I would be so honoured if you would accept. Well, oh, I'd be delighted, my dear, absolutely oh, delighted. Good. Would you like to sit down? Thank you, Colonel. Yeah, I was, uh, I was in Paris during the war, you know. Really? Yeah. Avez-vous une sister? No wonder they called them the three French. Mm. <laughs> Tell me, have you ever been abroad before? Yes, just once. I had a week in the Isle of Wight. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, not quite the same, you know, but, uh, you know, you'll love Paris. I'll show you all the sights. I know a charming little restaurant on the left bank. Or is it the right bank? Well, perhaps it depends which way you're facing. Yes, it probably does. Anyway, it's kept by some Greek fella, I think, or is it, uh, is it Italian? Anyway, uh, he's some sort of foreigner. Could he be French? Well, may well be right. Yes, he might be, yes. <laughs> anyway, you'll love his place. He's got a lovely little restaurant on the bank of that river, you know, the... Uh, the Same? Oh, mad as a hatter, but you know... <laughs> his cooking's absolutely marvellous. His escargots are brilliant. Oh, how very cosmetic. Huh? Yeah, Miss Dragon, I hope you don't mind my saying so, but uh, you really want me to go with you? Oh, yes, indeed I do, Colonel. Well, that's very charming of you. I'm very touched by that. I really am. But are you sure you, uh, you, sure you wouldn't rather ask George? George? Hmm? Oh, no. George is the last person I'd take to Paris. I mean, I know he'd be quiet at home on the end of the pier eating jelly deals, but I can't see him crunching croissants on the champs <laughs> 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 Yes, I... I think perhaps you're right. <laughs> Look, Colonel, your boots. Well, they're filthy, Joel, absolutely filthy. Now, why don't you give him a good polishing? There's a good chap. Now, come on, now. Well, thank you, Colonel. Thank, thank you. you. Oh, He's getting worse. Yes. Here, <laughs> yeah. you're getting thinner. Oh, thank you, George. As a matter of fact, I wanted to have a word with you. Oh, yes? It's about my weekend in Paris. Oh, go on. Yes, you see, uh, it's for two. Is it? Yes. So, naturally, I shall want to be accompanied. Well, you usually are when it's two, have you? <laughs> <laughs> you know, George, I haven't got very many close friends. You know, something I can never understand, guy. A woman of your integrity, your oh, kind of... Oh, save your breath, I mean, George. I've already the asked the Colonel. I mean, just flow in with them. You've you, you what? I've already asked the Colonel. You miserable old trap. <laughs> Oh, he is my employer, Joe. Oh, I mean, why should I care? It was your fuller figure, wasn't it? I mean, what? Joe. You're disappointed. Oh, I'm not disappointed. Why should I be disappointed? I mean, just because we're friends and we work together and get on well and it's one big happy family, that's no reason why I should expect you to take me to Paris. George, you are disappointed. I mean, the, the fact that if I'd won the prize, I'd have asked you to come with me, that's nothing to do with it. Now, look, George, I feel the Colonel's been looking very peaky lately, and I think he ought to have a change of air. 
But if it's any consolation to you, George, if the Colonel had refused, you would have been my second choice. Oh, there you are, Mr. Dragon, George. Oh, oh, that's much better, much better. Now, George, now, why can't you get him up like that? Now, well, <laughs> now, then, what time is it? Mr. Dragon, oh, yes, sir. About, about Paris. Yes, Colonel. Well, how are we going? Together. <laughs> yes, but, I mean, how are we... How are we going to get there? I mean, by uh, the steamer or the oh, ferry? Oh, no, Colonel, we fly by air! What? Oh, good heavens, no, no, I, I, I can't stand what that. Do no. we know? Oh, I don't trust them, you see. I don't trust those flying machines, you see. They're heavier than air. I don't see how they stop up there. Oh, Colonel, this doesn't mean that you're not coming with me. I'm afraid it does, my dear. Ah. But on the other hand, it was very nice of you to ask me. Very nice indeed, and I won't forget it. And thank you for doing the boots so well. Ah. Thank you. Bonjour, mademoiselle. <laughs> Bonjour, Georges. This is a pressurised cabin. What's that? If you should happen to open that window while we're up in the air, you'll get sucked right out of it. Oh, George, you don't think, uh, I don't think I've loosened it. No, no, it's all right. It's all right. Very heavy hand. No, no, all right, all right. I don't... Just leave it alone. Now. Would you like to change places? No, thank you, George. Now, if Providence means me to be sucked, then I'll be sucked. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, dear. Here we are. Look, just take one of those, and that, it'll calm you down. Oh, thank you, George. All right. You are very calm. Indeed. Oh, yes, that's marvellous. Yes, I feel calmer already. Is it some sort of tranquilizer? Not exactly. What is it then? A black currant pastel. <laughs> Thank you very much. All right, fasten your seat up. George! What's the matter? The wing, it's broken. Why not? Look, right along there. It's split all along the edge. It's waggling about. Look. It's all right, madam. There's no need to get alarmed. They're made of the wing flaps. They're designed to waggle about, as you put it. Oh, thank you very much indeed. Not at all. <laughs> Isn't he nice? Yeah, it's lovely for me. Yeah. <laughs> this is the very first time I've ever flown in an aeroplane. You do surprise me. <laughs> George and me, we're going to Paris. Yes, we all are. Uh, how silly of me. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I always think that an aeroplane has got the advantage over a train, because you don't have to worry about it splitting in half and going two different ways, do you? I sincerely hope not. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I want that. I want that. 
Uh, what is it? What's the noise? He just started the engines up. Oh. <laughs> 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 That's right. Mr. Hedwood, Dr. Mendoza, smoking and fasten your seatbelts, please. I can't find the other end of my seatbelt. <laughs> no, no. Let me do it. Let me do it. There you go. Oh, thank you very much, George. No, thank you. Where are our shoots? Shoots? <laughs> yes, you know, those white things all folded up. You can't tell them full of string. You don't get a parachute. Is that because we're a tourist economy? <laughs> you don't get a parachute, you only get a life jacket. Well, that's not much good, is it? What happens when we bail out? Do we blow it up and hope it breaks our ball? Oh, dear, oh, dear. Oh, dear, oh, dear. Well, please relax, now. I wanted a parachute. Oh, good. Where are the emergency exits? The window. <laughs> but you said they don't open. Some of them open, but only in case of emergency. Oh, I see. George. Yes. Don't you think we ought to be by one in case of an emergency? I mean, I wouldn't like to be trampled in a panic. If there's going to be any trampling, my money's on you. <laughs> One. I beg your pardon. An emergency exit. If you mean am I sitting next to one, yes. Uh, would you mind very much changing places with me, please? Thinking of getting out? Only in the case of an emergency. There's going to be one any minute. Oh, come on, George, let's change places. Come on, look. Come on, then, let's get out of here. George, I'm paralysed! <laughs> Your seat belt. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. Thank you very much indeed. Not at all, madam. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Are you happy now? Yes, thank you. Don't wear the seat belt. Yes, sir. Yes, thank you. Are you all right, madam? Yes, thank you. I'm fine. But would you please tell the driver to be careful? I'm very nervous. <laughs> In a few moments, we shall be taking off. I'll take off with you any time, George. No. In front of you, there's a booklet called About Your Flight. Oh, yes. Oh, I've got one, yes. You're requested to read the section on air safety. Air safety? Why? What does she mean, air safety? Why? In case of emergencies, madam. Thank you, sir. Okay. Emergencies? We've hardly sat down and she's on about emergencies. What does she know that we don't, George? Will you please shut up and read your book? What is wrong with this aeroplane, George? There's nothing wrong with the aeroplane. But how does she know it's going to crash? We are not going to crash. <laughs> This is just normal taking off procedure. Are you telling me the truth? Yes. Are you quite sure? I'm positive. <laughs> George, I'll trust you. Oh, yes, George, you're quite right. There's nothing to it, is there? There. Yeah. Nothing to it. What? Flying. It's so smooth. <laughs> it ought to be. We're still on the ground. <laughs> Yeah. So we are. <laughs> that means we've got to take off, doesn't it? And they say that taking off and touching down are the most dangerous parts of calm life. Down, calm down, calm down. There, there's nothing to it. Now look, shut your eyes. And I'll start counting. By the time I reach ten, we'll be up in the air. Supposing we're not. <laughs> we'll have crashed. Oh, no. <laughs> Just gonna close your eyes. Here we go. There we go. One, two. Can you speed up now? Three, four. Take any time, any? Five, six. What's the matter with him? Seven, eight. Go, go, get it up! Nine. He's up. He made it. Oh, George, we're in the air. Yeah, I told her nothing to him, isn't it? Marvellous. Like getting off a bus, isn't it? Yes. George, have a sandwich here. There we are. Pork and pickle. <laughs> <laughs> wake up. Mm. Wake up. We're going down. Is your safety belt? Yes, yes, George. Oh, George. Paris at last. <laughs> 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 Bonjour. 
Bonjour, monsieur. Uh, je suis anglaise. English. Royal Britannia. Oh, I didn't know you spoke English here. Well, we all do in Gatwick, madam. Gatwick? <laughs> yes, well, you were having a kip and we had to turn back every fog. 